Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. Today I have a really exciting video. I'm gonna be doing a kind of fashion lookbook, different aesthetics. I have 10 different looks planned for today and I've never really done something like this. I definitely have done a decent amount of hauls on my channel, but that's always specifically like Killstar Haul or Punk Design is like a specific store. But today I thought it would be fun to put together a few outfits and I tried to make most of them kind of fall weather appropriate so that um, it's warm. I haven't tried any of them on. I basically spent the morning laying outfits out on the floor trying to plan them according to my list of outfits that I came up with so I haven't actually tried them on so hopefully they look good. In theory they should. So let's go ahead and jump into trying on the outfit. So I had to move my camera down a little bit so you guys can see the full outfit when I back up so that's why I'm bending over. So this is my gamer girl outfit. It's obviously pretty casual and this one is meant to be worn at home so that's why I'm wearing shorts. Not really fall appropriate but if you're gaming you're not going to be out. I decided to put on my razor. Oh kitty hi! Hi kitty! All gamer girls are cat people right? So he's an accessory. Um, so I decided to put on my razor kitty headset. I can't have it plugged in. I have the cord like tucked in my shorts, um, but usually they would be glowing, but I figured this is very gamer vibe. And then I never use this because it's on my display shelf usually because I'm so scared of breaking it because it is glass. But we have my refreshing World of Warcraft spring water, so that's the whole vibe here. And also I'm wearing my World of Warcraft t-shirt. This is one of my favorite t-shirts it's super comfy and then i have on just some thigh high socks because i feel like that's what a gamer would be chilling in so that is the outfit and these shorts are really really short so there's a lot of butt hanging out so this next outfit is also really casual so i decided to follow it up after the gamer girl outfit so basically we just have a little t-shirt on. I just got this recently from Too Fast and I love it. It says cute as hell. And then I just have on some yoga pants and these are the comfiest leggings, yoga pants that I've ever owned in my entire life. I love them so much. And then I also have on my slippers from Killstar. So literally just chilling. And also I picked out this cardigan so that if you get cold, you can put it on so that you're extra nice and cozy and ready to just go curl up on the couch. I feel like it was really cute because I don't know, like black and white with the pink just looks really nice. And then you can grab your coffee or your tea and a book. I'm currently reading The Silmarillion, but the one that I bought is ripped at the top. I got it on eBay for like $3. Um, and I'm on page 51, so we're getting somewhere. Whole vibe, light a candle, and everything like that. So this next outfit is Sylvanas Windrunner inspired. I literally love it so much. I wore this a long time ago, something very similar to this anyways, um, in a reel from like months ago and I haven't worn it since. And I literally love it. It's basically just a black tank top with this brown corset to kind of represent her Legion War Chief Sylvanas armor and then the Sylvanas leggings. I don't know if you can find these anymore, but I literally love them and then i put on some little wedged boots with it and also this choker it is so cool i found it at a thrift store like a year or two ago and it was like a dollar so perfect for like her chainmail choker kind of vibe that is the sylvanas look also while we're here let's appreciate my sylvanas tattoo and my forsaken crest tattoo as well and i also have this sylvanas hoodie that we can totally throw on over top in case we were cold and wanted to go outside on a fall night or whatever so here's the outfit with the hoodie um it just says world of warcraft in the front and then it has Sylvana stuff on the back. And now of course we also have the hood for added Sylvanas vibes. Also at this point, usually I would do the Sylvanas tear makeup marks, but I'm wearing this as my third outfit and I don't wanna have to like wash them off for the rest of the outfits, but definitely the Sylvanas tears would add to the outfit. So this next outfit is my skater punk girl, very heavily Avril Lavigne inspired outfit. Um, I'm wearing this Bite Me top from Vampire Freaks, but it also reminds me of Avril because of her song Bite Me. 
uh, black and red choker. I put on these cool gloves. They're so beat up. I've had them for so long, so they're just like falling apart, but very cool. Adds to the punk aesthetic. Uh, I put on this studded belt with it and these really cool uh, jeans from Hot Topic. And overall, I just feel like it's a really badass outfit. I don't know what this is. And I have on my Converse with it too. And also, I brought this to show you guys as a prop, uh, but my husband made this long board for me. He has like a matching one that's a bigger board, but basically he did this pour painting on it and then put this horde decal. And then he has his name, Neuromind down here. So I honestly don't know how to longboard. We've tried to go out a few times, but I'm really, really scared. And also the wheels light up. So when you're rolling around, they, uh, if you hit them hard enough anyways, I really do want to learn how to longboard, but I am so scared of falling. I'm not good with like pain like that, like from falling. I feel like it definitely helps to pull the whole skater look together. I feel like it's huge, like it looks really big. I feel like I'm holding like a surfboard or something, but it's cool, it's whatever. Also, I almost forgot, I also have this sweater uh, that you could totally add to the outfit if you were cold. I hope it looks good. I figured it should because it's red and black, so why not? It's just kind of a little throw over hoodie sweater thing. I feel like it's cool. Let's also try zipping it up to see if that looks cool maybe. It sticks up really weird at the top though. I don't know why that's a thing, but it's still cool. So this next outfit is my date night outfit. So I just have a dress on. It's kind of like flowy at the bottom and I put on some tights and the same boots that I was wearing for the Sylvanas look as well, um, so that they're not like too crazy heels. And also I put on some earrings, they're just little moons with little danglies. And I'm also wearing my Even Star necklace from Lord of the Rings, because it's just cute and it's kind of the most normal necklace that I own that's not like a World of Warcraft necklace kind of. So this is pretty much what I'd probably wear if we were going out on a date. I really love the little hangy down bits. And then also to add on top of that, I have this spider web long sweater thing because it always gets cold in a restaurant. So I probably want to wear something that still keeps my outfit cute, but also keeps me warm. This dress and this over thing is from Punk Design. And if I remember correctly, I did a haul with them like a year or two ago and I wore the same outfit and I was mentioning that I would probably wear it for date night. So yeah, I don't know why I'm so overexposed right now. My camera is being weird. Um, so yeah, basically this is definitely what I would wear on date night. Okay, so this is the next look. I raised my camera up a bit because I'm wearing big old platform boots, so I'm a lot taller than usual. This look is basically my going to a concert or like going out, I don't know, like clubbing or to like emo night or something. I don't go to any of those things really. It's probably what I would wear if I was trying to go out and be really extra and have a mini skirt on. I also have this headband thing from Killstar. I could also throw that on there just for like added extraness and everything. And yeah, and again, the big old platform boots. Let me tilt it down for you guys. So here's kind of the bottom part of the outfit. The skirt is really, really short. Um, and you can also attach these onto like thigh high socks if you were gonna wear them. And then for the final touch, if you were cold or whatever, I do of course have a sweater that you could wear with it too. This sweater is from Killstar and it has little spikes on it and stuff so that's pretty cool i guess i'll have to take this off to put the hood on we can't have spikes on spikes kind of like the nighttime i'm cold version so this next outfit is also pretty casual this is my going for an evening fall time walk so i just have this kind of knit sweater thing and literally just some leggings and some boots for the fall vibes. And I also decided to put on a little beanie. It says vampire, so it's good for like spooky vibes coming up to Halloween. And I also grabbed my travel mug. I didn't put anything in it, but I have this little travel mug with like World of Warcraft stickers on it. So sometimes I like to drink coffee or tea on a walk with this because it's just a vibe. Or alternatively, I wish I could go like get an actual coffee from like Starbucks because I feel like that would complement the outfit. But yeah, basically this is it. Just really cozy, super casual and nice. 
So this next outfit, I really love how it turned out. This is my witch outfit. I am just really, really obsessed. I've worn this outfit before, I think also on a reel, but I've never tried it before with the corset and I feel like it just makes it so cute. I'm really, really loving it. Also, one of my necklaces was flipped around to the back. My bad. I just think it looks really awesome and we got lots of necklaces stacked on here. And I think that these are two different velvet patterns as well, the top and the bottom, but I love it together. I'm wearing the same boots that I was wearing, I think for the last outfit, that they just work as like little kind of witchy boots. I feel like this could work as a casual witch Halloween outfit maybe. So speaking of that, I pulled out my witch hat that I got from Spirit Halloween. I think like two years ago, so just to make it that extra little bit more spooky witch vibe, I just hit my arm. Uh, so this is kind of how you could make it a Halloween costume. I also have a broom, let me grab it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I had to pull it I had to pull it out from the back of my closet, but now uh, it is a full costume. I feel like I like this better. I wore this witch costume a year or two ago, but I wore a long black dress and I feel like I like this a lot better. This is like the perfect vibe. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even expecting to make this a Halloween themed thing, but here we are. Very cool, I'm really, really digging it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna take this off because I have one other thing to try on too. So now we have this awesome long sleeve thing with the cool hanging down sleeves and this is called, I think, a bolero or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, it's really, really cute. It's from Killstar. And it also has a hood on it and it even laces up in the back. I hope that the lacing is straight. I don't really know what it looks like but it's very cool. Basically we have a full velvet little witch costume. And also look who just walked into my room, little Trinity can't be a witch without your kitty. There are a little witch and her kitty. Hi, okay, sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end. This is the second last outfit. This is my vampire themed, I guess kind of like modern day vampire, um, cause we got these jeans on with the crosses going down it and with the cross top. You guys have probably seen me wear this top so many times. I really, really like it. I know I've worn it a lot on Instagram. On this kind of lacy choker and then this cross kind of rosary necklace just for the crosses and everything as the vibes. And then for the shoes, we got some high heels on, kind of like Catherine Pierce vibes from the Vampire Diaries and just, I feel like all vampires would wear heels. Really digging this outfit. I think the crosses look super awesome together. First, I have the long sleeve option, at least kind of long sleeve. These are some arm warmers. I really, really love these. They're so cute. They say children of the night on them, so that's kind of fitting for the whole vampire theme. I feel like it's also kind of elegant, like those long kind of gloves that you would see someone wearing to like a party or something. I don't know. So we are on the very last outfit. This is my going to the mall, going shopping, running errands, maybe going to Spirit Halloween and Ulta and the mall. I actually wore this outfit on my Instagram super recently. I think it was like my most recent reel. But when I made that, I had a different top on, but for the sake of the video and trying to keep it fall themed, I put this one on because it's long sleeve. So this top already comes with a little pentagram thing attached to it. So I'm not really sure if this harness thing kind of conflicts with it like maybe it would look better without it but the other day I was wearing these pants with this and a little um, just black crop uh, tank top thing so it didn't have this really liked this chain harness with it because it kind of reminds me of like the spider web like with all the chains kind of coming in and stuff also I have my purse this is like the only purse that I own really actually I have one other I'm way more of a backpack person here's actually a closer look at it I bought this on AliExpress or Wish. I think it was Wish like seven years ago, maybe 10 years ago. So I have this little cat keychain. It's supposed to meow um, and light up its eyes, but it's out of batteries, so it's just there. I'm also wearing the same heels that I wore for my vampire outfit. These pants are definitely 
They're kind of long on me, so wearing heels helps to keep them from dragging on the ground. This was the last outfit, so that brings us to the end of the video. My husband and I actually have to go grocery shopping right now after this, so I kind of planned the video so that I'd be wearing an outfit that I am ready to go to the store in. I mean, I pretty much wear any of those outfits to the store, um, but this one works because it's my going shopping, running errands outfit, so I may as well. I'll probably take this off just because I feel like it's a bit much with it, and I probably won't wear the heels. I'll switch into something a little bit more casual. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite outfit was. Would you wear any of these? And feel free to leave any suggestions for future videos. Let me know if you liked this one. Follow me on Instagram, join my Discord, all of the social and stuff is down below in the description. I love you guys so much. I hope that you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!